earned her medal total of seven golds, two silver and two bronze ties her for second all time by a female gymnast. Did you hear about Simone Biles at the Paris Olympics? She just won four new medals, making her the most decorated U.S. women's gymnast of all time with 11 Olympic medals. But that's not even the craziest part. She did it all after overcoming the twisties from Tokyo. How did she pull off such an incredible comeback? Fate. Looks good. Very good. Simone Biles has been absolutely phenomenal in Paris this year. She ended the games with four new medals, which is just incredible. This haul includes three gold medals and one silver, adding to her already impressive record. Can you imagine? She's now got a total of 11 Olympic medals, making her the most decorated U.S. women's gymnast in history. It's like watching history being made right before our eyes. Each of those medals represents not just her skill, but her resilience and determination to push the boundaries of what's possible in gymnastics. Today is no exception. Just takes it out meters and meters. In Paris, Simone won gold in the team event, the individual all around, and the vault, and she clinched a silver on the floor. Every performance was a masterclass in gymnastics. She performed with such precision and grace that it left everyone, including her fellow competitors, in awe. It's not just about the medals, though. It's about the way she carries herself and the way she competes. She has this incredible ability to stay composed under pressure, and she always delivers when it counts the most. Watching her compete, you can't help but feel inspired by her dedication and passion for the sport. Do you remember what happened in Tokyo 2020? It was such a tough time for Simone. She was dealing with something called the twisties, which is this terrifying condition where gymnasts suddenly lose their sense of direction while performing mid-air twists. It's like your body just forgets what it's supposed to do, and it can be really dangerous. For someone like Simone, who has perfected these moves over years of training, it must have been incredibly frustrating and scary. She had to pull out of several events because of it, and it was heartbreaking to watch. You could see how much she was struggling, not just physically, but emotionally too. But what really makes Simone special is how she handled that setback. Instead of letting it define her, she used it as a motivation to come back stronger. Over the past few years, she focused on her mental health, something that many athletes often overlook. She took time to work with therapists, leaned on her support system, and gradually rebuilt her confidence. She didn't rush the process. She made sure she was ready, both mentally and physically, to compete again at the highest level. When Simone stepped onto the floor in Paris, it was like she was a new person. You could see the confidence in her eyes and the determination in her movements. She wasn't just out there to compete. She was there to reclaim her legacy. And boy, did she deliver. Her performances were nothing short of spectacular. She executed each routine with such precision and grace that it left no doubt about who the greatest gymnast of all time is. Simone Biles truly outdid herself at the 2024 Paris Olympics, delivering a performance that will be remembered as one of the greatest in Olympic history. Her achievements this year were nothing short of spectacular, and they cemented her legacy as the greatest gymnast of all time. Starting with the team event, Simone led Team USA to a stunning gold medal victory. The American team dominated the competition, and Simone's leadership and flawless routines were crucial to their success. It was a thrilling moment, watching them perform with such precision and unity. The team's victory set the stage for Simone's individual pursuits and highlighted her ability to inspire and lead her teammates to greatness. Next came the individual all-around competition, where Simone once again proved her unparalleled skill across all apparatuses. Winning the all-around gold was particularly significant because it came eight years after her first all-around gold in Rio, showcasing her incredible consistency and longevity in the sport. Her routines were executed with such perfection that it left everyone in awe. The way she handled the pressure and delivered flawless performances was a testament to her extraordinary talent and dedication. Simone's gold medal on the vault was another highlight of the games. Watching her perform those powerful vaults with such precision and confidence was mesmerizing. 
she made it look effortless. But we all know the immense amount of training and hard work that goes into perfecting those moves. Her vault performances were some of the best we've ever seen, and they clearly demonstrated why she's considered the best in the world. Simone earned a silver medal in a nail-biting competition with Brazil's Rebecca Andrade. The close competition added to the excitement, and seeing Simone perform with such grace and power was inspiring. Rebecca was phenomenal, and the fact that Simone was right there with her, pushing her to the limit, speaks volumes about her resilience and skill. The competition was fierce, but Simone's performance was a masterclass in gymnastics showcasing her incredible athleticism and artistry. One of the most remarkable aspects of Simone's journey is her resilience and determination. After the challenges she faced in Tokyo, her comeback in Paris is nothing short of extraordinary. At the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, Simone struggled with the twisties, a condition where gymnasts lose their sense of direction while performing mid-air twists. It's a terrifying and dangerous condition, and it forced her to withdraw from several events. Watching her struggle was heartbreaking, and it was clear that she was going through a very tough time, both physically and mentally. But Simone didn't let that setback define her. Instead, she took the time to focus on her mental health and rebuild her confidence. She worked with therapists, leaned on her support system, and gradually regained her form. In interviews, Simone has been very open about how she never imagined accomplishing so much especially after the setbacks she experienced. She said, I've accomplished way more than in my wildest dreams, not just at this Olympics, but in the sport. These words resonate deeply because they reflect her journey from doubt to triumph. Her mental and physical preparedness played a crucial role in her success. Simone took the time to focus on her mental health, working through her struggles with the twisties and ensuring she was in the right headspace to compete. This focus on mental well-being is something relatively new in the world of elite sports, and Simone's openness about it has paved the way for other athletes to prioritize their mental health. Competing on her own terms, she showed the world that mental strength is just as important as physical prowess. She showed that it's okay to take a step back and focus on yourself. Her comeback in Paris was a testament to her resilience and determination proving that even the greatest athletes can face challenges, but can overcome them with the right mindset and support. One of the most heartwarming moments of the Paris Olympics was the viral image of Simone Biles and her teammate Jordan Chiles, bowing in honor of Rebecca Andrade after the floor final. This moment encapsulated the true spirit of the Olympics, sportsmanship, respect, and humility. Seeing Simone and Jordan bow to Rebecca was a powerful statement. It wasn't just about the medals or the competition. It was about acknowledging excellence and celebrating each other's achievements. The competition on the floor exercise was fierce, but the respect and admiration the athletes had for each other were evident. After the event, Simone and Jordan's gesture of bowing to Rebecca went viral. It was a beautiful moment of sportsmanship that resonated with people all over the world. The image of the three gymnasts smiling and supporting each other was a powerful reminder of what the Olympics are all about. This display of sportsmanship resonated with many, especially young athletes watching around the world. Simone's actions, along with Jordan's, demonstrated that winning with grace and losing with dignity are equally important. They showed that it's not just about the victory, but also about how you carry yourself and respect your competitors. Amid the sweltering heat wave in Paris, some people started nitpicking about her appearance and hairstyle. Can you believe that? Here she is, performing at the highest level, making history, and yet some folks felt the need to comment on her hair. It's mind-boggling how people can focus on such trivial things when she's out there breaking records. But Simone, being the incredible person she is, didn't let it slide. She addressed it head-on with such grace and poise. On her Instagram stories, she posted a video from a bus in Paris, explaining that her hair was styled perfectly, but the bus had no air conditioning and it was scorching hot. She wrote, Don't come for me about my hair. It was done, but bus has no AC, and it's like 9,000 degrees. Her humor and straightforwardness in addressing the criticism were spot on. 
she turned what could have been a negative experience into a moment of honesty and relatability. What really stood out was her follow-up message. Simone took this opportunity to deliver a powerful message to young girls everywhere. She posted a photo of herself smiling, eyes closed, with a heartfelt caption, reminding everyone that it's never okay to comment on someone's appearance. She wrote, Gonna hold your hand when I say this. Next time you want to comment on a black girl's hair, just don't. This message was so important because it addressed not just the specific criticism she faced, but a broader issue many young girls, especially black girls, deal with daily. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.